<laughs> one at your face, the other round your legs. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's terrible having a, a cat sneezing in your face, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you, all over the bubble gum. <laughs> oh, yes, <Sam. Uh, 17 by Pence Change, thank you. 17? Yeah. Is that all? Yeah, well, things went up recently with a, a bump. When was that? When I spilt that snuff. <laughs> Don't tell me it's raining. <laughs> This time you look great, Granville. I mean, I know you, and you're still terrifying me, and that's only from, from the back. <laughs> hey, hey, you see? I'm not going out like this. <laughs> Granville, you can't refuse to help drive an engaged person into the arms of their betrothed. We're doing it for our own security, Granville. Look at me when I'm lying to you. <laughs> there he goes, they'll say. Look, there he is, that Granville. Oh, he's wearing ladies' tights now. <laughs> That's a hell of a reputation to live down, isn't it? Only one glimpse from that face at the window and she'll want me over there once she's in my best sympathetic mood and me the best suit and me the best underwear with a monogram on that. Well, never mind where I've got me monogram. <laughs> oh, get, get that one, you Granville. <laughs> oh. It's Mrs. Turnbull. I'll get all the rotten jobs and now I've got to serve Mrs. Turnbull. <laughs> oh, he's never gone out with that on, has he? <laughs> your imagination, my Mrs Turnbull. Well, it seemed very real. Well, hallucinations do. That's due to a lowering of the blood sugar caused by persistent underspending, is that? <laughs> now, what you need is a little lash out on a few uh, luxury items now and again. It works by wonders. Do you think so? Oh, I know so. I've seen it time and time again. You see, after all these years, I'm not just a grocer anymore. I'm more a kindly old sort of medicine man, really. I mean, people don't think of this as a shop. 
More a sort of uh, insulting rooms. A uh, consulting room. <laughs> no use, I'm not frightening anybody. <laughs> Something I said, Mrs. Turnbull. Look, Granville, take those knickers off at once. <laughs> Look what you've done to these chocolates now. Oh, it's my fault. Why is it always my fault? Everything's my fault. I just do all the dirty jobs around here. Honestly, in the circumstances, it's very difficult for me for me to become a super stud. Well, you've made a right, Sylvester Stallone, of these chocolates. <laughs> Embarrassing for me, you know, with all these divorces about, to have spent the best years of my life not even being a correspondent. <laughs> Will you stop your moaning and get, get your money in the till? In the till? What for? Them tights. <laughs> <laughs> She'll kill you. Oh. What a lover bearing gifts, no way. She'll be over the moon that here I am, a lecherous but game, prepared to risk a life and limb up this stairway to paradise. <laughs> She'll open her heart to me, Granville, and I tell you, when she leans on that window ledge, it's like the well-stocked shelf of a supermarket. Ah, <laughs> oh, you could never class them two as lost leaders, could you? <laughs> and all because the lady loves... Broken chocolates. <laughs> It's the thought that counts, Granville. No, it isn't. Not around here. It's you that counts. It's it's your c c c c compound interest at twelve and a half. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. You never mind the imp impersonations of Janet Brown. Come on, let's get on with it. <laughs> Bet you fall off. You're going to fall off. Not on your Nelly. Not on any part of me, I hope. I'm going to introduce the Arkwright to safety device, my Mark One. Why right, safety device mark one? What's that? Well, I put me to trouser belt around the ladder like that, you see. <laughs> to safe as houses. Come on, let's get on with it. Sill. What are people going to think? Milk tray, my love. <laughs> Tin tray to you. Fetch it. Oh, it's a wicked thing, is gravity in the wrong place? <laughs> It's good to get back to terra firma. I thought me end was nigh. <laughs> Best end and all. It's funny how helpless you feel, dangling inches beneath the area's finest bosom. And not a thing you can get a safe hold on. <laughs> and believe me, I did try. Even in the depths of a very real predicament, I did try. <laughs> 